Hey Primary 3 Math Prodigies, this is Coach Saiful with your daily dose of Math Mastery. Now for those of you who tried yesterday's question, I am very proud of you and if you got the answer right, I am more proud of you. And guess what, even if you didn't, if you tried your best, guess what, I am very proud of you. Coach is very proud of you because you try and you keep trying until you succeed, alright? So let's look at yesterday's question. Yesterday's question was... Ding, ding. Cheryl. This little cute girl, Cheryl, cut a rock melon into 12 equal pieces. Brian ate 4 and Jess ate 3. What fraction of the rock melon was left? Mmm, rock melon. So like we discussed yesterday, a rock melon looks a bit like this. Oops. It looks a bit like this. Where is my car? <laughs> Where is my... Okay, let me give you a second. Huh? Ah, here you go. Oh, there it is. This is a rock melon. Okay, if you just imagine. My drawing really is very bad. <laughs> okay, but let's just imagine this is a rock melon, right? This is a rock melon. If you've ever seen one of these, you know what this actually is, okay? This is a rock melon. It's not a rock. It is a melon, okay? And what happened was... They cut the rock, shall cut the rock melon into 12 equal pieces. So it looks a bit like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Come on, count with me. 6, good. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 pieces. Okay, it's all in triangles. Now, Brian, let's choose a color which is fit for Brian. Let's choose a color blue. Brian ate how many? He ate 1. Two, three, and four pieces. Right? Am I right? Yes, I'm right. And let's choose a color which is good for a girl. Let's choose a color pink. Just eat one, two, and three. Ah, so the question is, what fraction of the rock melon was left? So come with me, come with me, come on. One, Two, three, four, five. Ah, five pieces. Now, they ask for a fraction. So what is the fraction? The fraction looks a bit like this. There's a line in between and there is a number here and there is a number here. Okay, right now you don't know what it is so we replace it with a question mark. But all you have to do is draw the same line again and answer me the simple question, okay? How many parts of the rock melon was left? Let's count again. One, two, three, four, five. Now, do I put the five here? No, I don't put the five there. Because that is the total number of parts. So, cancel, cancel, okay? We put the five here. And, what's below? below is the total number. So let's count again. Oh wait, we don't need to count because the answer is actually here. There are 12 equal pieces. We put 12 below and the answer is 5 over 12. Yay! That's very good. We got 5 over 12. Now what I'm going to ask you is, how do we write this in, let's say, uh, a format? How do we write this in our exam paper? Hmm. Because I know that teachers won't accept this. So how are we going to write this in the exam paper? Let's do this the exam way, okay? So let me show you how to do this. First off, you have to draw, excuse me, you have to draw a model, okay? A model. So a model with how many parts? 12 parts. Very good. You are a math prodigy. Good job. So let's draw one model here. One. So let's draw 12. So it should be quite long and it ends there. Example. Whoa! And... Very good. Good job. So we, in order for you to have 12 equal parts in the model, you have to draw how many lines? 11 lines. Not 12 lines because then you'll get 13. Don't believe me? Let's try. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, oops, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh no, there's too much. Never mind. It's okay. 11. And you count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. What did I tell you? I am a math prodigy. <laughs> so let's do this. Brian ate how many? 4. 1, 2, 
3 and 4. And how much did Jeff eat? 3. 1, 2, and 3. Now, all you have to do for the working is write down total number, which is 12 parts, yes. Or in math, we call it one big hole, okay? Or one rock melon, whatever you want to call that. And we minus four parts. But we don't just write four, we write four over what, gentlemen? Oh, gentlemen. <laughs> four over what, math apologies? Four over 12. Good job. And then we minus again three parts, but three over what? Over 12. Now, let me give you one little trick. One actually equals to, and don't write this down, it actually equals to 12 over what? 12, because there are 12 parts all together. So 12 parts over 12 parts. So 12 minus 4 minus 3, what do you get? That is right, you get yourself 5. Over what? Over 12. And that is how you do the working. And then you answer with the fraction of rock melon. Oh man, this is very slow. <laughs> okay. Left was... How much? 5 over 12. Good job. You are a math prodigy. Simple? Very simple. Good job. Now, very good. We got this one right. Now we're going to move on to the next question. The question of the day for you today, my primary three math prodigies, is... Dang, dang, dang. Mark had a sum of money. He spent 3 eight of it and saved the rest. 3 eight. 3 slash 8 also, by the way, equals to, let me just give you a little hint, uh, 3 over 8 actually equals to 3 over 8, like that, okay? Uh, what fraction of the money did he save? It's a simple question. I expect you to get it right. So I know you're going to work on this right now. I'm going to give you a high five, a virtual high five. High five! You are a math prodigy.